Oh man, I'm exhausted still. Sheesh. What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel today. Just gonna be a quick little thing because I'm exhausted. Uh, I got back yesterday late from the Ragnar Trail Appalachia race. This right here, Ragnar Trail Appalachia is in West Virginia, right up here in the uh, tip of it, kind of on the border of Maryland and Pennsylvania. Um, but it was uh, a good event. It was good. Uh, I had a good time. The weather was okay. Uh, pretty hot. There was some rain. Very humid. Uh, you know, I'll have. I've got a video I'm going to put out here in the next couple of days. It won't be out uh, Monday because I'm just exhausted and don't want to edit it right now, <laughs> if I'm honest. So, um, but it was a good trip. We had a lot of cool. You know, it was, it was fun. Uh, definitely had some uh, struggles and challenges. We had to adapt as a team and figure out the best way to get those done, and, and we did, uh, which you'll see in the video coming up. Uh, definitely some challenges. Had to pick up a lot more miles than I intended to run, uh, like twice as many. So uh, it was, yeah, it was fun, but got it done. Anyway, uh, the team did really well. We ended up placing a lot higher than I would have expected, honestly, like a lot higher because of the way that things went down. Uh, but super happy, everybody did, had fun, nobody got hurt, we didn't have any rolled ankles, twisted ankles, which there was a lot of at this race. I mean, there was so many, there were people that had broken uh, ankles, broken feet, because this was incredibly technical terrain. I didn't realize it, but it was like super close to where I ran the Laurel Highlands Ultra. Uh, same type of terrain, that really just rocky trail, and it was it was pretty. But man, it was very technical. So not surprised to see so many injuries and just super thankful that nobody on our team got hurt. I didn't roll any ankles, so always a plus. The uh, medal is right here. Says uh, just Ragnar, then on the back, I had to, they all said something different on the back and I kinda, I had to claim this one. I don't know if you can see that, but it says do hard things. So I had to claim that one, it's pretty cool. On the inside is like a little multi-tool thing that you can take out, but you gotta take this ribbon or this this uh string off here to get to it and that's a hassle so i'll leave that in there for now got the bib back there team number 123 team it's just running it can't be that expensive i did post some pictures and updates on instagram so if you follow me there uh you know ultra trail steve on instagram you can check it out uh, but you'll see more updates coming in the future from that video i've got hopefully this week it'll be out uh, and you'll see the whole story so anyway i did get some cool stuff in the mail as well while i was gone got a couple of hats from head sweats uh, just really like, I mean, super, super breathable hat, like incredibly lightweight, really looking forward to trying this guy out in the hot summer days. I mean, this thing is going to be awesome. Uh, and then this one here as well is also incredibly light, not quite as see-through or breathable, but very lightweight and it has more of a firm bill. Uh, this is their, their race hat is what they call it. And this is like the mountain crusher hat, I think is the name of it. But, uh, yeah, really cool. Thank you. Head sweats for sending these my way. Appreciate it. I'll give them a shot. Got Plenty of long runs coming up. This weekend, Lee and I are going to go tackle the 20-mile segment of the No Business 100 course from uh, Bald Knob Aid Station to Ledbetter, so 20-ish miles. Uh, so you'll see that coming out in the next week or so uh, after this weekend, of course. So yeah, lots of trail running coming up for sure. Also at the Ragnar race, while I'm at it, I got to wear the Hoka Zanals and the Hoka Torrents back-to-back -back on the same trails uh, and really got some great feedback from myself from my feet and body and uh, how the shoes did on the technical terrain so definitely tune back in here in a little while for the shoe battle between the hoka torrent 2 and the hokas and all and i got some pretty strong opinions on those two shoes there uh, which one i think is a clear winner much uh, better shoe on that type of terrain uh, but yeah definitely definitely uh, had some good experience in both of those shoes so i can't wait to share that with you guys and I'm getting close now to the full review on that Torrent 2 video. I'm at like 30 miles in the Torrent 2s, over 75 miles in the Hokas and Alls already. So uh, this weekend I will wear the Torrent 2s on that 20 miler. So that'll put me at that, uh, just basically at the 50 mile zone. So I should be in that review out very soon. So it's coming. <laughs> Man, I'm just so tired. You'll see why I'm so tired in the video from the Ragnar race. It just, you know... Ragnards, if you don't know how they work, you know, there's three legs that you run per uh, per runner, you know, a green, yellow, and a red loop uh, in different order, depending on where you start and you rotate through. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just sometimes you don't get much sleep in the Ragnars, especially when things happen uh, like they did for us. So uh, I ended up going about uh, a little over 40 hours with no sleep. 
So, or maybe, maybe no more than an hour sleep tops trying to take a nap here and there. So got home yesterday and I slept for a little over 10 hours. <laughs> Definitely uh, got some of that sleep back, but I'm still just so exhausted. I just feel out of it. So need another good night's sleep and then hopefully be back to normal. And uh, yeah, probably gonna take another day to recover because I wasn't supposed to run as many miles as I was, as I did this weekend. I was only supposed to run, you know, about 15 miles, ended up double that uh, for an ultra. So yeah, I need another day to recover probably before I do some, some good training. So anyway, all right, I'm tired. I'm gonna go. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Hope you had a great weekend, a safe weekend, got out and did some hard things on the trail. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. And I'll see you on the next one.